Today's Port Swigger tutorial is entitled DOM XSS using web messages. To solve the lab, we must post a message to the website that causes a print function to be called. Open the lab, right click and click inspect or press F12 to open the developer tools. Let's just quickly separate the two windows so we can work better. Now in the elements tab, we see some script tags inside which there is an event listener. An event listener is a function in JavaScript that waits for an event to occur, then responds to it. What this code does is to add an event listener to the window object. This listener is waiting for the message event. The second argument is an anonymous function that takes the event object and adds the data received in the event object to the DOM using inner HTML. The data is added inside the element with the ID adds which we can see on the previous line. This means that if we send a message, it should be added to our page. Let's go to the console tab and try it out. To dispatch a message to the website, we must call window.postMessage. Let's give it the text hello there. Click enter and you should see our text was added to the page. Now because the text is added without any sanitization, we could add some HTML that will run some problematic JavaScript. The easiest way to do this is to add an image tag with an invalid source, let's say 0. When the browser fails to load the image, it will error out. When this happens, so on error, we want to pop up an alert. As you can see, the browser tried to upload the image from the slash 0 path, which does not exist. This errored out and caused our alert. So we can post messages to the website that cause functions to be called. But we don't want to just attack ourselves locally. We want to create a link that, when clicked, launches this vulnerable website and calls the print function. For this, we will use the provided exploit server. Copy the URL and click Go to Exploit Server. In the body section of this page, we will create an iframe. Set the source to your lab URL. When the iframe's content is loaded, so unload, we want to send our message. An iframe tag hosts a separate embedded window with its own separate document and window objects. In order to get the window inside of the iframe, we must use content window instead of simply window. So this dot content window dot post message, the first parameter is the message, so our image element, and the second one should be the target origin, which is our vulnerable website URI. If we click View Exploit, we can see that we are sent to our exploit page, our lab's content is loaded inside of an iframe, and we get an alert. Back on the exploit server page, we can also set the target origin for the post message to star, which is a security problem because the message could be intercepted by anyone, but we don't really care about that. For more details, you can read the Mozilla documentation. I have linked it in the description below. One more change we have to make is to change the alert function with a print function, because that is what the lab description wants from us. Now, if we click View Exploit, we see a print page pop up. Finally, click Deliver Exploit to Victim. What happens here is that we simulate sending the exploit URL to our victim, who clicks on it and gets the print pop-up page. The lab is solved. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.